talking about in one second. What am I holding here? Okay, this is my hockey team. We play hockey together every Tuesday night. We have for years, and after hockey every Tuesday night, we go to um, Four Peaks. It's the Scottsdale location, not the Tempe location. And when we go there, um, the waitress or server, whatever you want to call her, knows everything that we want. She just brings it to us. It's an awesome system. But one fateful night, my buddy orders nachos. The nachos come. They are the most spectacularly beautiful culinary specimen that I've ever encountered. Gorgeous beyond compare. A thousand ships have been launched for less beauty. <laughs> so they come and, and they're covered in chicken and I'm a vegetarian so I can't eat them. I can't eat them and, and I want some so I eat one bite around the chicken but I know that ultimately I have to have my own. So I sit there and I'm like, well, what do I do? Do I go to Filiberto's and get their super nachos or do I go to the grocery store and get the exact ingredients that I want? What do I do to make nachos happen for me tonight? So I'm sitting there thinking about it, time passes, my friends are having a good time, but I can't stop staring at this cold chip, cold cheese on a plate, remnants of what were once perfect nachos, until this woman's voice rings out into the night sky, and she's quite clearly an angel of mercy, and she says, hey, the cook made these by accident, does anyone want them? And over my head hovers a plate, and the plate is set down before me, and it's nachos, and there's no chicken, and it's the best thing I've ever done. I became one with them, I ate them, I devoured them, I murdered them, I killed them. Okay. <laughs> So this experience was so powerful that I've developed this life theory called nachos, which essentially says that you can have literally anything that you want, like literally anything, as long as you devote the right energy to it, right? So that night I devoted a lot of energy to my nachos, and they came true. And so you're asking the question, which I ask every day, well, why haven't you won the lottery? The answer is because I don't actually believe that I'm going to win. I've been trained to think that this is an impossibility. I'm more likely to get struck by lightning. It's not going to happen. Um, but that night, for, without question, I knew that I was going to have nachos one way or the other, right? The things that I have nachoed, uh, when I used to work at the Capitol downtown, I would drive, to the sea, drive down by the high rises, and I would sit in my car and eat my lunch and look at them and think, how cool would it be to live up there? And then this has been my view for the last two years, so I, I made that happen. I've made wonderful, amazing people come into my life who I would like to thank right now for supporting me and supporting my crazy nacho theory. Um, but one person in particular that I brought into my life is Danny Bonaducci, believe it or not. <laughs> I moved to California very, very briefly, and I, I went out one night and I wanted, to have, I wanted to make some friends. I was lonely and looking for something fun to do, and I ended up meeting him. We hung out in his hotel room till 5 a.m. No drugs, mom, but... Um, <laughs> Totally awesome night that you can only explain through nachos. So here are some guiding principles if you want to bring nachos into your life. Nachos knows best, which means that it's going to happen on the timeline that's appropriate for you and not the timeline that you want. So if you want something now, but it's better for you in three months, nachos knows that and will provide it in that time. So don't, <laughs> don't get discouraged. Nachos are infinitely abundant. Don't save them. Don't be like, hey, I, uh, I'm gonna save this for when I really need nachos. No, 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 no. You can have anything you want, anytime, but it has to be right for you, it has to be the right energy. So it's up to you to do it, but it will happen. Nachos are effortless. If you're James Dean, they're, yes. Um, but seriously, um, the, you don't have to sit there 24 seven and be like, hey, I am gonna devote all my time to thinking about this. All you have to do is do a couple minutes with the right energy and it will happen. Nachos have to be good for everyone. The example that I always use, uh, you can't make someone fall in love with you with nachos. Nachos have to be good for the party that you're nachosing and, and for you, right? Okay, mutually beneficial is the key. They deliver essence. Let's say that you have a, a neighbor who's just completely loud and obnoxious and so you are so hateful towards them that you wanna move, you start looking but you can't find anything. Um, and then all of a sudden, one Saturday morning, you wake up and they move during the middle of the night. You got the essence of what you were looking for, which is obnoxious free neighbor zone. Who are nachos? I don't know. Is it God? Have I found a prayer system where I'm praying to some deity that I, I don't know his name or her name? Maybe. I don't know. Another option is that I found some sort of metaphysical uh, quantum mechanical situation where I have connected to the universe in a way that allows me to get you and you to give me what I need and want and it will benefit you in some way and I don't know how. Um, so what I want you to do is do, get your own nachos. I want you to start small, start with like a certain dollar amount, maybe under $100 or um, a small item and then bring it into your life and then write me. Write me at dallas.gold at gmail.com with your success stories and I will email you the greatest recipe that you've ever had for rachos, which are raw nachos, which are so good, you will love it. Thank you so much, have a great night.